Alrighty guys, part two. Yeah, that's why I brewed some coffee, so in a good, I don't know, five minutes from now, I'm gonna go get my coffee. But because the fridge is, uh, because my set parents locked the fridge, obviously, I'm gonna have to drink my, my, my Tim Hortons coffee black, which is kind of gross. I like my coffee with milk. Um, I can even drink coffee without sweetener, but I, I usually like drink, I usually like, um, like it with sweetener, obviously. My step parents have been buying some cheap version of sweetener. That's the coffee doesn't taste as good since there. Yeah, so I'm a good layout. I don't know, five, six, seven, eight minutes from now, I'm gonna go upstairs and get my coffee. Don't hate me, and I will what? I'll continue my video. If you don't like waiting, guys, just skip the video, man. Some sometime in a good two, three minutes, I should be arriving back in my room. So there. Don't hate me, I'm saying. I mean, I hate when you that. Yeah, skip the video. We don't want to wait. I don't want to shut the camera off because you, you end up I end up you end up getting smaller parts. That's why I just leave the camera rolling. Before I used to just shut my camera off. I don't do that anymore. I just leave the camera rolling. You guys you wait. You know? Yeah, hence why the Warner Bros. is actually gonna be blown away with my by my fucking story. Holy shit, I haven't even wrote a masterpiece. Yes, I wrote a masterpiece. I I I came up with a masterpiece. Not not a map. I didn't write this script yet, but my idea for the story is a masterpiece. Yo, who do you think I'm casting? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm casting Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan has the great grandson of Morpheus and Naomi. And Brie Larson and John Cezanne to be in my Matrix children. I can picture Brie in the Matrix. I think she's really good for the Matrix. And John Cezanne, you can have them be in a relationship, those two guys, if you want. And you could have Michael B. Jordan be in a relationship too. You can have Michael B. Jordan be in a relationship too if you want. Who else are you thinking of? I don't know. I'm thinking Zendaya perhaps. And Hell Berry. Hell Berry. Or I can have Hell Berry compete with Scarlett Johansson for the job. Now you can do that if you want. Have Hell Berry compete with Scarlett Johansson for the job. Hell Berry, I'm mad. Hell Berry's not as big as Scarlett Johansson. She's worth, I don't know how much she's worth. I think she's worth around that 40, 50 million range around there, I think. 60 million range, 80 million range. So for her, you pay her a smaller bonus, smaller salary, but you can match her zero. But she gets zero point one two. You can give her a good deal like that if you want. Have have her sign her to a three movie contract. With the main Hell Berry's young. Hell Berry's about like 50 years old around there, right? She's in her she's 50, I think. Yeah, Hell Berry's young. She's young, so. She'll be 60 by then. She'll, she'll be fine. So she'll be... 60 years old, you're still fine. But once you hit 70s, you're pretty much done. If you're if you're 70 years old, you can still do action movies like John Wick. But like Matrix is like hardcore, like kung fu stuff. You can't do those things when you're 70. You're done, man. But the main guy who I'm thinking of for the Matrix is Michael B. Jordan. So, 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 so like, Ivan, who will be the face? The face... Like, me and Vijay will be the main... Will, I will be the main character of the story, obviously. But, like, the two major characters are going to be Vijay and Michael B. Jordan. And then everyone else are all, like, supporting characters. They're major characters, but they're more supporting. They're in a good chunk of scenes, but they're not the main characters. They're support. So, Brie Larson and John Zenz, I'll have them be supporting characters. But I'll have Michael B. Jordan be more... A bigger... Have play a bigger role than those guys. So, Michael B. Jordan will be, like, the kind of the face of, of my Matrix trilogy. You're going to... Like, when you see the cover, you're going to see me, him... You're going to see me, him, and, like, VJ, And then everyone else you probably won't see in the cover. You know I might perhaps have Brie Larson and maybe John Cezanne and maybe Hell Berry in the cover if you want. But I'm, chances are if I, if I have the front cover, it'll be me. It'll be me. Um, it'll be me, Mike, be Jordan, and VJ as, 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 as in the front cover. And everyone else, they're supporting characters. You know I, what do you mean support? Okay, you know, remember how when you watch The Matrix 1, it starts off with Trini and Keanu Reeves, he's the, he's the main character, and once you get them against you meet all these guys, yeah. It's like, I'm, you know, you meet Tank, you meet these other guys, those guys are all, Tank was a supporting character of The Matrix, but he wasn't like the star of The Matrix. Trini, Keanu Reeves, and, 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 and Lawrence Fishman were the stars. You know but, but, but Gree Larson and all of them will be the stars, so my movie, they're going to have a lot, I'm going to make sure they have a lot of scenes in the movie, obviously, you know what I'm saying, Yeah, so Mike B. Jordan want to pay him a nine million salary contract for the first movie, 
and I'll give him 0.01% of the profits, which is a good, I don't know, $4 million in royalties for Michael. It's a good paycheck for him. And he gets his 250k royalty check for the merch. 40 grand worth of commercial money. 2,000 gear car, 300 gas car, and I'll pay him his millions for the games. 2 million for the Matrix 4, 2.5 million for Matrix 5, 3 million for Matrix 6. To, to voice act and do the character face models for, them, for my game. It's a good deal for Michael B. Jordan. In the second movie, I can pay him a rich 11.5. And I'll give him 0.01. The third movie, you sign him to a massive deal. Pay him a nice 12.8, even 13 million. And you give him a nice 0.02, which is a good, like, I don't know, 10 million in royalties. 9, 10 million in royalties. And you, and, you, and you know what I'm saying? He also gets his commercial money. He gets his 250K royalty check for the merch. I'm not going hard on 250K for, for Michael for the merch. And he also gets his speaking fee earnings. If I go on the world tour, he'll get his like 150 plus thousand in speaking fee earnings. And it's an exclusive contract for Michael B. Jordan. Yo, Ivan, his agent will tell me, Ivan, if you want Michael to sign a suit of contract, you better offer him a lot of money, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the agents want to, you know what I'm saying? If I offer Michael a shitty contract, he would not accept the exclusive contract. Because he wants to make more money for himself. That's why I offer him millions. That way he, he accepts your deal. Hey, is $9 million enough, Michael? I, that's enough. You know what I'm saying? That's like three movie contracts worth in Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood pays him probably an average $3 million for his movies. You know what I'm saying? And give him a piece of the role because that way you keep him happy, obviously. You pay him nine with rich salary. You give him a nice like $4 million, $4.5, 5000000 million in all these. And you give him a 250K role for, for, for the merch. And you pay millions for his games. You gave him a good deal. He has more than enough money to last for a couple of years before his, his next move, before he films his next movie. Some saying, "All right, I'm fine. I'm I have more than enough money to last for a couple of years. I'm fine. Yeah, with that money, you can buy another condo. You can you can buy a nice boat. You can buy a nice clothes. Get 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 some nice cars. Nice some nice clothes for yourself. Take your girlfriend. Why? By then, Michael Jordan will probably be married, perhaps with kids by then, right? Because Michael Jordan will be in his forties. By the time I do the main, he'll be like 40, like 4, 45, man, by the time. In mid-40s around there, he'll be when he films the, um, when he films the Matrix. He'll be like in his 40s, man. He'll be older. Yeah. But in, in your, when you're in your 40s, you're still young. You're still fine. You're, you're aging a little bit, but you're still fine when you're 40s. Once you hit like your, it's like once you hit your 70s, you're done. Even in your 60s, you're still fine. You're a little older, but you're still fine. Once you hit your 70s, you're done. You can't do things you do when you're younger, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Go, go look, go watch Harrison Ford in in Force Awakens. Remember how you saw him like fighting in the movie? He looked a little bit like clumsy. Yeah, because he's his body's done, man. He was in his seventies. You compare him to the originals. How in the originals he looked like he was fine. In the originals he was a young kid. He was like thirty three years old. You know what I'm saying he was young back then, and now he's fucking in the seventies. You can tell he 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 struggled a little bit with the fighting scenes also. Yeah, because he's, he's fucking old. His body's done, man. See what I'm saying? When you're in your seventies, you can still do fighting sequences, but like it's tougher on your body. Like Keanu Reeves cannot do the, the, the kind of things he was able to do when when he was young in the Matrix. You can tell when, when in Resurrections he, he he didn't do the kind of fighting he did in the, in, in, in the originals because his body can't handle that kind of work. Keanu Reeves can handle John Wick kind of fighting, hence why he's good for the Great Escape. But he can't do the the, the full on kung fu like he did for fucking Reloaded. It's too it's tough. It's too tough on his body. Yeah, I have, my body's done. I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, my body's done. I can't do the things I was able to do in the back back in the day in the Matrix, man. I was a young kid back then. Yeah, he was thirty seven years old when he filmed the Matrix around there, right? Thirty seven years old, you're still young. He was about forty when he filmed Reloaded and, Re and Reloaded and Revolutions. Yeah, Caroline Moss was only thirty three, man, when she did the Matrix. She was young, and now she's in her fifties. I'm saying, yeah. Give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna go upstairs and get my coffee. It's good to be if you don't want to wait.
Alrighty, sorry for the wait. Yeah. Why would I hit it when you do that? Yeah, then skip the video if you don't want to wait, guys. Skip the damn video. Skip the damn video. So I'm sorry, we don't want to wait. Yeah. So I'm thinking Michael B. Jordan is good for the uh, Matrix trilogy. Pay him a lot of money. That way he works hard for you, obviously. And I think Brie Larson and John Cezanne are good for the Matrix trilogy. They already know they can see the future. Chances are I will choose them. I think Brie Larson is perfect for the Matrix. I can picture, yeah, I can picture her in the Matrix, yeah. She has that look, obviously. She, was, she kicked ass in Captain Marvel. I can picture her in the Matrix kicking ass. And then John Cezanne. And I might sign them to a two-movie deal. Brie Larson and John Cezanne. I might have them kill them off in the second movie. Yeah, towards the end of the second movie. So I'll, I'll save them for good on like six, seven years of their life. That's a good, that's a good deal for them. And you offer Brie, Brie Larson and John Cezanne a lot of money, obviously. Oh, I wish it was milk. There's no. I'm drinking my coffee black right now, guys. Yeah, black coffee isn't too good, right? Yeah. So Brie Larson, I'll I'll pay her. I'll, I'll pay her like ten million for the first movie. That's a good paycheck for her. And you gotta watch because Brie Larson will be a supporting character. She will not be major. She'll be supporting. She'll have a lot of scenes in the movie, but she'll be a supporting character. So pay her ten. That's a good paycheck for her. And you give her zero point zero. She'll be worth about thirty million by then. Give her zero point zero two percent of the profits. Which is a good 9, 10, 11 million roll. It's a good paycheck for her. 250, uh, 1.5, a 250k royalty check with a merch. And you sign her to a nice million dollar, multi million dollar deal for the games. Pay her 3 million for the first game, 3.5 for the for the second, 4 million for the third. You can do a deal like that for her. Or you can pay her 3.5 million for the first game, 4 million for the second game, 4.5, 5 million for the third. 4.5 million for the third. That's good enough. They want a piece of the, the profits. My guys, I'm not giving you a piece of profits of the games. You're not worth it, man. All you have to, do, all you're doing is it's not as much work. All you have to do is just do voice acting, and you they they, they put the CGI thing on you, and you, you have your character face model. That's it. I'm paying you more enough money. I'm not gonna pay you the amount. I'm not. You're not worth as much money for the games as you are for the movies, guys. It's a fucking game. I'm not gonna let you do it like that, Sam. Alright, that's a good deal. You know what I'm saying. I'm more than happy to voice act for you if you, if you pay me a lot of money for. Okay, is this three point five million dollars enough, Bree? Yeah, I mean, that's more than enough. Yeah, you're walking away with a with a with a million plus dollar check in your bank, million out, a million four dollar check in your bank after taxes. That's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, all you have to do is just do the voice acting. The people will have will have me and all the actors read read the lines for the voice acting, and they put the CGI technology on us for the character face models, and that's it. That's all you have to do for the game. That's it. Simple, I'm saying. Less work than a movie, obviously. Yeah, and then the second movie, I'll pay her like 12.5. I'll pay her a bit more than Michael B. Jordan because she's worth more than him. Pay her like 12.5 for the second movie, and you give her 0.02. Good paycheck for her. So B. Larson signed like her what? Like 20, 20 plus million dollar deal for all my three movies. First movie, she signed like her like 19, 20, 21 million dollar deal. Second movie, she signed like her 24, 25 million dollar deal. And third movie, I, I can give her, I can pay her like 14, 14 million for the third movie. And you, no, she's don't. Oh, sorry, she's only gonna be in the first. So she, uh, uh, yeah, if I sign her to a two movie contract, I'll pay her ten for the first and like twelve point five for the second movie. I'll give her zero point zero two for for the second movie too. It's a good deal for her. And if I have her in the third movie, I'll pay her fourteen. But I might kill her and Johnson's NC off. I don't know. I don't know. Or I might do a thing whereby when I go into the Matrix, when I go into the Matrix, obviously, the Oracle tells me I'll, ha I'll, I'll, I'll have to save my two friends. And I, I might not have John Zetsy and B. Larson die. We'll see what happens. I might just go in with them and kick ass and we save our friends, obviously. Instead of having them die, right? I might sign B. Larson to a three-movie deal. And B. Larson and John Zetsy already know. They can see a feature. They know if they're going to do the Grey Escape, and they know if, if, if I'm going to do the Matrix. They know. I have the keys. You guys can see. You know if I'm going to do the Grey Escape. You know if I'm going to do the Matrix. I, what do you think I do? I don't know. Somebody tells me I'm going to end up doing the Matrix over the Grey Escape. Don't hand me Keanu Reeves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then John Cezanne, he's worth $80, $80 million. So for him, he's really big. He's a bigger A, so you can pay him his like 16.5 salary and like a 5 mil, 4.5 mil bonus for the first movie. 
In the second movie, you can pay him a six mil bonus and pay him like a $17.5 million salary. In the third movie, you can pay him his, his, his 18.5 for the third. And you give him 0.1% for all three movies. If the movie does a certain amount of money, if it does less, more, you give him 0.07, he'll still make his nice 30 plus million in royalties. You sign John to a big deal like that, massive deal like that. That way, he, that way he's not angry. So I'm saying, but if John might tell me, right, and if you want me to sign an exclusive contract for the Matrix, you better offer me a boatload of money, man. Okay, John, I'll pay you $16.5 million salary, money that you don't make in Hollywood, and I'll give you a nice, like, 4.5 mil bonus, and I'll give you 1.5 million for the merch sales. That's a good paycheck for you. And you also get a nice, like, $3 million in post swing bonus for, for the first movie. 3.5 million post swing bonus for the first movie. Pay him a 4 mil post swing bonus for the third, and 5 mil post swing bonus for the, for, the, for the third movie, if he's in the third movie, some saying. And I'll give you 0.1% of profits, which is, like, 50 million roll. Is that enough, John? Is Ivan? That's more than enough. <laughs> yeah. And if you get 0.07, you'll still make your like $40 million in royalties. Sign a massive deal that Hollywood never paid. By the time we do the two movies, John, you're going to be like dozens of millions of dollars richer, man. Yeah, man. Tens of millions of dollars richer. He'll be worth his 100 plus million by, by after he films my first Matrix movie. Johnson says his net worth will skyrocket to 100 plus million because he made so much money off my movies. I'm saying. I might not kill the mob. I don't know. I might not kill the mob. Or I might. We'll see what happens. I might perhaps kill them off after the second movie, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, so those are all the cats I'm thinking of. And for the for the actor for Agent Smith... Oh, yeah. The Cisco actor in in, 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 in Flash, I might have him be the operator. I can picture him. Oh, you're creative. Yes, I can picture him as the operator. He has, like, a sense of humor. You know what I'm saying? He has a sense of humor, obviously, like Cypher did. You know how Cypher, yeah, he has a sense of humor like Cypher. Or I might have KJ Apa uh, be, 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 the, be the operator. And have KJ Apa compete with the Cisco actor for the job. The Cisco actor, I'll pay him like two point like six million for the first movie. He doesn't, he doesn't get squalled through royalties. 250k royalty check and, and sign to a deal like that. In the second movie, you can pay him like 6.5 million. He doesn't make that in Hollywood. In the third movie, you sign him to an alias of salaries. You pay him nine and you give him 0.1% of the profits. Good deal for him. The Cisco actor in Flash, right? That guy, the guy who looks native or like Spanish, whatever it is. He looks like he looks like native. He also looks Spanish. I don't know what he is though. I, I think he's like Spanish or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, he's a BS actor. Pay him a nice like two points a month. That's a good paycheck for him. In the movie, he'll be he's a supporting character, so pay him a nice two points. That's a good deal. Except my he doesn't make that in Hollywood. He probably makes a six hundred k, six fifty k, seven hundred k in Hollywood. Is there? Sign him to a nice deal like that. That way he, he works hard. They all work hard for you, Sam Sarah. I guarantee you Mike be Jordan's praying, Ivan, please do that Matrix Trilogy. I want to be safe for like fucking 10 years of my life. Yeah. If I do the Matrix Trilogy, these actors are going to be safe for like a decade, man. Like a, like a decade of their life. Yeah, man. But they have to sign exclusive contracts. Like, guys, you have to sign exclusive contracts. Yeah, breathe. I know you're happy, you know what I'm saying? You sign this master contract, I'll take on anything there. You, you know, you can't be, I don't want you working in Hollywood, man. You're going to have to work this out with Marvel. Hey, uh, sorry guys, I'm locked off for 10 years, I can't work for you. Yeah, you can't, you can't be doing, you can't be working in Hollywood. It's an exclusive contract. Because so I don't want these actors to be, to lose focus. If you, if you film multiple movies, the actors, you're, you're not going to get, get as good acting from the actors. Because the actors can get tired. They can get exhausted and tired. May, that's why you lock them on for, 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 for what? Or to exclusive contracts. That way they're focused. And as long as you offer them a lot of money, they won't be angry. If you give all these actors nice pieces of royalties and you pay them a rich salary, they won't be angry because you offer them their millions. And you also give them millions for the games, they won't mind up. See some Sarah? Like, yeah, I mean, it's all good. I'd rather work for you anyways than work in fucking Hollywood. Yeah. Your company's much better than Hollywood. Yeah, your company's clean. Whereas Hollywood is dirty as fuck. Yeah, and I mean, your company's clean. My, my grandchildren's will probably... Even, your company so much better than Hollywood. Yeah, my company will be better than Hollywood. Sky's entertainment will be better than, 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 than Hollywood. It's funny because whenever whenever you guys put on the, the, the I don't know, the 4K Blu-ray, the 8K Blu-ray comes in your mail from Matrix 4, you watch the movie, you no longer see the Warner Bros. logo anymore. You see the Sky Source logo because I now own the Matrix brand. It's actually funny. Yeah.
It's actually funny. Yeah, I mean, that's funny. Yeah, it's very funny. I'm saying. It's actually funny, Evan. Yeah, that's why the worm was like, holy shit. I mean, yeah, I, mean, I can picture Brie Larson in the Matrix. I can picture uh, uh, Ben Affleck, too. I might have Ben Affleck be in the Matrix, too. Sign him to a massive deal, too. Have him be a supporting character in your movie. I mean, have Ben Affleck be in the Matrix kicking ass, yeah. Whereas Carl Johansson, I don't know about her. I don't know. I don't really picture her as a Matrix kind of woman, right? Whereas Brie, whereas what? Whereas Hell Barry, I can picture in the Matrix. I can picture Hell Barry in the Matrix from Sarah. Picture Hell Barry in the Matrix. You can have her be Mike B. Jordan's mother if you want. Or no, she's too young to be Mike B. Jordan's mother. Nah. Nah, not that. Not that plot, no. But yeah. That's why the world was actually shot. Holy shit. I mean, who 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 is the perfect casting choice? The most perfect casting choice for my movie is 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 me and V Jobs. You don't hate me, guys. I'm saying no, no I'm just kidding. The most perfect casting choice for the movie is Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan is the man for the great grandson of Morpheus Naomi. I can't picture anyone else better than him. You can picture him in the Matrix, man, with his glasses. He wears his he wears the, he wears a similar suit to Morpheus, and he's kicking ass. Yeah, man. I can also picture Brie Larson and John Cusanti too in the Matrix too. They have that look. You can yeah, I can picture them in the Matrix, Ivan. Yeah, you can picture those two in the Matrix. John Cusanti is forty now. In his early forties, he'll be like 50, in his fifties, and he'll be young. He'll be fine. And Brie Larson will be in her early 40s. She's young. When you're, when you're in your early 40s, you're still young. You're just now growing the white hair, obviously. You're getting... You, when you hit your 40s is when you start to... is when the aging starts to take place. But when you're in your 40s, you're still young. Mike B. Jordan, you'll see him. He looks older, obviously. But he's young. He's only, he'll only be in his mid-40s. That's what Sarah. Mike B. Jordan's a little bit older. He's, he's older than Brie. But he's younger than guys like John Cusanti. That's what Sarah. Mike B. Jordan, I believe, is 35 now. He's 35 now. So by the time through the matches, he'll be like 45, 46 years old around. He'll be young. He's so young, obviously. Uh, Lawrence Fishman was, was about like 45 years old when he did the Matrix. He was in his early 40s when he did the Matrix. He was young. He was fine, yeah. Yeah. And Mike B. Jordan kicks ass in the Matrix. All right, when you have him fight agents, yes, I'll have Mike B. Jordan fight agents, obviously. Like Morpheus did in Reloaded. And I'll also have VJ fight agents and I'll have Brie Larson and all them. They all they all confront agents in the in the movie. Sim Sarah, yeah. Sim Sarah, yeah. Obviously. And what I'm gonna do is when I pitch my, my idea to what to Warner Bros., I'm going to hire a beat guy to record my beat. The guy will be like, okay, Ivan, you wanna record a beat? Yeah, I have an idea for a song. I want you to make a beat for this. All right, we can do that for you. Pay the beat guy a lot of money. I want you to come with a good beat based off how, how I sing the song. Okay, Ivan, how's your song? Okay, I want this to be the one song in the Matrix trilogy. Okay, Ivan, what's your idea? It goes something like this. Sometimes. Okay, Ivan, what's your idea? It goes something like this. Sometimes. He is the one, yeah. You are the one, yeah. He is the one, yeah. You get this panel. You know what I said? You know, he is the one born inside here. 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 And the guy's like, holy shit, that's a, that's a, I mean, that's a beautiful song. Yeah, we can come up with a good BK. I, what are you thinking of? What are you thinking of for the for the for, for, for the instruments? Yeah, I'm thinking of playing some violin with some piano. Okay, I would do that for you. We put violin and we put piano in there. You know what I'm saying? He is the one, yeah. You are the one, yeah. He is the one, yeah. You are the one, yeah. He is the one born inside here. 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 Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Holy shit, you creep. Yeah, look at a powerful song. You see me fighting the agents. You know what I'm saying? You see Mike B. Jordan's like, oh, the Oracle was right. He really is the one. You know what I'm saying? You see all the, all the people in Democrats are watching. No, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you see me take like 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 it did in the original Matrix, right? When Morpheus is like, he's the one, yeah. 
Like, guys, I want this song to be the one song in my Matrix trilogy. That song, the New Orleans that's for Ivan. That's your idea for the song. I'm like, yeah. I don't know. I bring, I bring, I bring my um my phone with me. I download the the, the song. I'm like, hey guys, this is my idea for the one song. We're like, holy shit, Ivan. That's your idea for the song. I'm like, yeah, Ivan. That's an amazing song. That song can make you cry, but it can also pump you up. Yeah, the song is so powerful. You guys might even cry for me. Well, I'm the one, or you'll be you'll be amazed. You'll be pumped up. Holy shit, this is sick. I'm saying. I carved from death, and yeah. He is the one born inside here. He is the one born inside here. He is the one born inside here. You know what I'm saying? A powerful song of that, yeah. Like, yeah, Ivan, the Matrix brand is better off in your hands. Yes, better off my hands. So, Ivan, you're going to make Unreal Engine 5 games. Yes, I'm going to make Unreal Engine 5 games. Are you going to have that Rad Brad guy? Are you going to have your walkthrough guy? I saw your walkthrough, Ivan. That guy's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I hired him. He'll be doing my Matrix for a walkthrough. You see Rabbi, you know what I'm saying? All right, this is it. It's come down to this. All right, it's here. Matrix 4, deja vu. <laughs> Matrix 4, deja vu. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's come down to this. All right, it's here. Matrix 4, deja vu. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you do a pretty good impression. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not a bad impression of Rabbit, obviously, right? Matrix 4, Deja Vu! Was that? Yeah. The whole world's going crazy for that walkthrough. Yeah, man. That's why I pay Rabbit a lot of money. That way he works hard for you. Pay him six forty for, for Zanus. You pay him a nice... The Zanus game will be long. It'll be like a, probably a 20-hour game, 15, 20-hour game. And the, the Matrix game will probably be a good 10-hour game, 10-hour plus game. Make sure you make it 10 plus hours, guys. <laughs> Don't make some a short game. Make a long, like, 10 plus hour game. Guy, how long do you want it to be? Make it at least 10 plus hours long. You can even make it 12, 13 hours if you want, but make sure it's not, it's, it's not, the minimum, the minimum length is 10 hours. 10 hours plus, okay, I have a teacher saying, and they make a 10 plus hour game, you know what I'm saying? And you pay Rabbi a good 680 grand for the, for the, pay him a nice 680 grand for the what? Pay Rabbi a nice 680 grand for the, uh, for the third, for the second, for the first game, in the third game you pay him seven twenty, and the 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 the, 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 se the second game you pay him seven twenty, and the, the third game you pay him seven eighty grand. Nice paycheck for Rob Brad. I want he works hard for you, and he can live the good life with his family. Some there, he's already rich. The guy makes a lot of money, obviously. But if you're making that money off YouTube and you're also making good money on the side, working for my company, he'll be living a great life with his family. <laughs> pay for his kid's school. He can. He can buy another house if he wants to sell his house, buy a better house. He can buy his nice truck or nice cars, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he can get it. He live, live a great life for him and his family. Take his family out to nice events, like to nice dinner. Yeah. Good paycheck for Rabbit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the woman was actually all blown away. Holy shit, that's your idea for the one song? You don't call it I'm like, holy shit, I can't believe we played those songs in our original trilogies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the one, the only flaw I have in the Matrix is the soundtrack. Don't hate me. The soundtrack and the CGI. Matrix had a lot of CGI problems too. When you watch Reloaded, you clearly see the CGI problem. When Neo was fighting all those clones, you saw in the background those, those the men didn't even look like Smith. They look like different men, obviously. And you have some cheesy uh, special effects for for some of the fighting, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Matrix had CGI problems, and it also had uh. It had soundtrack problems. As a soundtrack in the Matrix in the Matrix movie were not the greatest songs, obviously. I what do you think is the best soundtrack? The best soundtrack is the is the Revolution soundtrack in the end when Neo fights Smith. You know what I'm saying? That was a sick song. That was a sick soundtrack. You know what I'm saying? But if you think that soundtrack is powerful, think of a more powerful soundtrack for, for my Matrix trilogy, yeah. Because the one key to making a good movie is having a good soundtrack. You need to have a good soundtrack. The flaw I have in the Matrix is the soundtracks. The soundtracks, some of it's a little silly. Like when Neo fought those um those Smith clones and we know it. Remember that? That soundtrack was kind of silly. I didn't like that soundtrack. They had some soundtrack, uh, not not great soundtrack, and some bad CGI, obviously. Some bad CGI in 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 in, in what? In we loaded. I've one movie had the worst CGI. Uh, Reloaded had the worst CGI. There was a lot of CGI problems in that movie, obviously. 
Why? Because the special effects team slacked off, obviously. I told you, man. I always catch you catch your eye, and yeah, I always catch cheesy stuff in these movies. <laughs> because Hollywood pays these special effects guys their shitty salary, their fifty sixty k, and they serve them a shittier food. And if you can't afford to pay them good money, Hollywood feed them well with a good buffet that would work hard for you. Hence, why even though I'm going to hire Epic Games, I'm not going to pay everyone fifty k. I'm going to pay them all their fifty sixty k around there on average. Fifty. I'll pay them minimum fifty five k. That would be a good paycheck. Fifty five k minimum. I'll pay all the guys. I'm not going to pay them 34k, otherwise I'm going to slack off. No, pay them 50, 50, 55k, that way they work hard for you. And some of the guys you can pay 60, 65. I'm going to have like a 65 million dollar cap, 70 million dollar cap for my budget. 65 million dollar cap for salaries. For Epic Games, when I make my Zanes game, my Matrix game, and everything else is going towards the technology. I also have to pay my actors too, don't forget that. Yeah. I'll have like a good like probably 80 million dollar budget around there for salaries. Then everything else is going towards the the the, the game, or you get an unheard of game, something like Majors Awakens, yeah. Yeah, the one flaw I'm gonna point out in the Majors trilogy was the soundtrack. The soundtrack in the, in, the, in this trilogy was not the greatest, obviously. It was not the great the grace. Understand? The soundtrack in in the first Majors when. When Neo fought Smith, that was a pretty good soundtrack. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning, when you had that music, that was nice. But the um the the, the reloader when he fought Smith, obviously the uh, the Smith clones, that was terrible. I thought that was a little bit goofy, a little bit unbalanced. It was an unbalanced soundtrack. Some singer. It was unbalanced, like Rob Mayer Burnett said for uh, Thor: Love and Thunder. A little bit unbalanced of a soundtrack, yeah, yeah. Show my camera, guys.